Welcome to MRI Physics Chapter 2. There are 75 flashcards of questions and answers in this video. Are you ready? Let's go! What are the two categories of the image contrast? Intrinsic and extrinsic contrast parameters. The parameters that cannot be changed because they are inherent to the body's tissues are defined as what? If these parameters cannot be changed, they are intrinsic contrast parameters. The parameters that can be changed because they are under our control are what? If the tech can modify these parameters, they are extrinsic contrast parameters. List the intrinsic contrast parameters. Intrinsic contrast parameters are T1 recovery time, T2 decay time, proton density, flow, apparent diffusion coefficient, ADC. List the extrinsic contrast parameters. Extrinsic contrast parameters are TR, TE, flip angle, TI, turbo factor, echo twin length, and B value. In MRI, when the RF excitation pulse is switched off, and therefore hydrogen nuclei return to their low energy state and their magnetic moments deface. The process by which this occurs is called what? This process is called relaxation. The recovery of longitudinal magnetization is caused by a process termed what? It is called T1 recovery. What is the process that causes the decay of coherent transverse magnetization? This process is called T2 decay. The process by which energy is given up by spins to the surrounding molecular lattice is called what? It is called spin lattice energy transfer. There is a time constant associated with this exponential relationship and it is the time it takes for 63% of the longitudinal magnetization to recover in a tissue. What is it? It is T1 recovery time. What is the typical T1 recovery times of water tissue at 1 Tesla? 2,500 milliseconds. What are the typical T1 recovery times of fat tissue at 1 T? 200 milliseconds. What are the typical T1 recovery times of CSF tissue at 1 T? 2,000 milliseconds. What are the typical T1 recovery times of white matter tissue at 1 T? 500 milliseconds. What is this graph? This graph represents the T1 recovery curve. The process by which energy is given up by spins to the surrounding molecular lattice is called what? It is called spin-spin relaxation. Spin-spin relaxation is caused by one spin transferring energy to another spin rather than into the lattice. What is the loss of transverse magnetization as a result of spin-spin relaxation? That is defined as T2 decay. The time taken for 63% of the transverse magnetization to decay is called what? It is called T2 decay time. It is the time that takes for 63% of the transverse magnetization to deface in a tissue. What are the typical T2 decay times of water tissue at 1T? 2,500 milliseconds. Typical T2 decay times of fat tissue at 1T is? 100 milliseconds. What are the typical T2 decay times of CSF tissue at 1T? 300 milliseconds. Typical T2 decay times of white matter tissue at 1T is? It is also 300 milliseconds. You can pause the video to memorize the T1 recovery time and T2 decay time. Note that 
water has the same uh, T1 recovery time and T2 decay time, which are 2,500 milliseconds. CSF is much higher in T1 recovery times compared to the T2 decay times. So 2,000 milliseconds in T1 recovery time and only 300 in T2 decay time. Fat is low in both. However, fat is twice as long as in T1 recovery time compared to T2 decay time. White matter is five times longer in T1 compared to T2. Please note that um, both fat and white matter in uh, T2 decay times are the same, which is at 100. What is this graph? This graph illustrates the T2 decay curve. Now list four things to remember about relaxation. Relaxation is a general term that refers to a loss of energy. In MRI, this is energy that is delivered to the spins via the RF excitation pulse and then lost once it is switched off. Spin lattice energy transfer is a relaxation process where spins give up the energy absorbed through RF excitation to the surrounding molecular lattice of the tissue. It causes T1 recovery. T2 decay is an irreversible loss of phase coherence due to spin-spin interactions on an atomic and molecular level. It is one of the causes of T2 decay. And Pulse sequences are mechanisms that permit refocusing of spins so that images can be acquired with different types of contrast. What is the number of mobile hydrogen protons per unit volume of that tissue? It is called proton density, PD. T1 and T2 relaxation depend on two factors. What are they? The factors are if the molecular tumbling rate matches the Lamour frequency of hydrogen and if the molecules are closely packed together. Hydrogen in fat recovers more rapidly along the longitudinal axis than water and loses transverse magnetization faster than water. True or false? True. Hydrogen in fat recover much faster than water. Fat has a low or high inherent energy and easily absorbs energy into its lattice from hydrogen nuclei. Fat has a low inherent energy and water has a high inherent energy. The T2 decay time of fat is short or long? The T2 decay time of fat is very short, which is 100 milliseconds. True or false? Larmor frequency is proportional to B0. True. Therefore, T2 decay takes marginally longer as B0 increases because there are fewer molecules moving at relaxation causing frequencies. Image contrast is derived from differences in the T1 recovery times of the tissues rather than any other mechanism is termed what? It is termed T1 contrast. Whenever the NMV is pushed beyond 90 degrees, it is said to be what? Remember, if it's pushed beyond 90 degrees, it is said to be partially saturated. What about whenever the NMV is pushed beyond 180 degrees, it is called to be what? If it is pushed beyond 180 degrees, it is called fully saturated. The condition where the TR is less than T1 and T2 relaxation times of tissues. Also defined generically as a stable condition that does not change over time. What is it? It is defined as steady state. What is the dephasing due to magnetic field and homogeneities? It is called T2 star, not T2, is T2 star. The first few RF excitation pulses are known as blank or blank because the signals they produce are ignored. They are known as preparatory or dummy pulses. What is a rapid MRI technique that acquires images of the brain during activity or stimulus and then at rest? That is functional MRI. What other techniques that are used to generate very specific image contrast? Other techniques can be used are diffusion weighted imaging DWI, functional MRI, magnetization transfer contrast MTC, 
Susceptibility Weighted Imaging SWI and Contrast Agency. What is the movement of molecules in the extracellular space due to random thermal motion? That is called diffusion. The net displacement of molecules diffusing across an area of tissue per second is called what? It is called apparent diffusion coefficient, ADC. What denotes those whose contrast is determined by the ADC? Diffusion weighted images, DWI. Memorize this table. CSF, ADC is 2.94 and relative signal when B equal 1000 is 0 0.05. The gray matter ADC is 0 0.76 and relative signal is 0 0.47 and the white matter, the ADC is 0 0.45 and the relative signal is 0 0.63. Image contrast depends on a physiological process is called what? It is defined as blood oxygenation level dependent bold. What is another mechanism that generates images with a certain contrast? Another mechanism is magnetization transfer contrast, MTC. What is the recovery of longitudinal magnetization due to spin lattice relaxation after the RF excitation pulse is switched off? That is called T1 recovery. What is the time it takes for 63% of the longitudinal magnetization to recover in a tissue? That is T1 recovery time. An image where fat is hyperintense and water is relatively hypointense because the TR is short enough to not allow full recovery of the vectors is called what? Fat is hyperintense and water is hypointense. That is called T1 contrast. An image whose contrast is predominantly due to the differences in the T1 recovery times of the tissues is called what? That is called T1 weighting. What is the decay of coherent transverse magnetization due to spin-spin relaxation after the RF excitation pulse is switched off? That decay is called T2 decay. The time it takes for 63% of the coherent transverse magnetization to decay in a tissue is called what? That is defined as T2 decay time. An image where fat is hypointense and water is relatively hyperintense because the tay is long enough to allow full dephasing is called what? If fat is hypointense and water is hyperintense, that is T2 contrast. Remember, this is opposite to the T1 contrast, which is fat is hyperintense and water is relatively hypointense. An image whose contrast is predominantly due to the differences in the T2 decay times of the tissues are called what? That is called T2 weighting. Remember, T2 decay time is T2 weighting. What is used in gradient echo sequences to indicate T2 weighting and recognizes that T2 decay makes a large contribution to image contrast? T2 star weighting is used in gradient echo sequences. What is the effect to increase conspicuity? Contrast enhancement agents may be used that selectively change the relaxation times of certain tissues. This effect is called relativity. The agents that shorten T2 relaxation times in tissues that take up the agent are called what? T2 agents. Remember, T2 relaxation times, T2 agents. The agents that shorten T1 relaxation in tissues that take up the agent is called what? T1 agent. What is diethylene triaminopentacetic acid, a gadolinium chelate? DTPA. Why are water molecules more available to the effects of the magnetic field than fat? Because the oxygen steals the electrons, leaving the hydrogen molecules more vulnerable. Which is more proportionally dependent on B0, T1 recovery, or T2 decay? T1 recovery. What is TR? 
TR is the amount of time between successive pole sequences applied to the same slice, repetition time. What is TE? TE is the time from the application of the radio frequency pulse to the peak of the signal induced in the receiver coil, echo time. Shorter TR does what to contrast? Shorter TR increases the contrast. Short TE and short TR. What do you think of? T1. Remember, short TE, short TR equals T1. What about short TE and long TR? Short TE and long TR is PD. What about long TE and long TR? T2. Long TE, long TR equals T2. What is used for anatomy? T1 and pose contrast changes are used for anatomy. What is used for pathology? T2 is used for pathology. Why is T2 generally used for pathology? Because most lesions and tumors are filled with edema which shows up as hyper-intense on a T2 image. What will have a high signal on both a T1 and T2? Slow-moving blood and hemangioma have higher signal on both T1 and T2. What will have no signal on a T1 and T2? No signal on T1 and T2 because air, fast-flowing blood, tendons, cortical bone, scar tissues, ca and calcification. Now, what will have a high signal on a T1? High signal on T1 are mostly fats, such as degeneration fats, methoglobin, paramagnetic contrast agents, and cysts with proteinaceous fluids. What will have high signal on a T2? High signal on T2s are mostly fluids such as water, synovial fluid, infection, inflammation, edema, and some tumors. What will high signal on a PD image? High signal on PD image are CSF, synovial fluid, slow flowing blood, infection, inflammation, edema, cysts, and fat. What uses the susceptibility differences between tissues to generate image contrast? That is SWI. Thank you for watching. I hope this video helps you a little bit. Please uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe.